So when you talk about innovation, everybody knows that at some point, somebody had to be the first person to go milk the first cow. Can you imagine that thought process? You got a couple guys standing over there in the corner. They're sitting there talking. They're seeing a, I don't know, dairy cow standing there with a bag hanging under, big long nipples. One guy says to the other guy, hey, why don't we walk over there and see what that bag under, hanging underneath that cow is all about? One guy who's probably the smarter of the group says, I'm not doing it. I'm not walking across there. This thing's going to kick our head off. That's innovative. The guy that walked out there is innovative. But the guy that's really innovative is the one that said, now let's drink it. Think about that. He's sitting there. They say, hey, white stuff's coming out of here. Let's put it in a bucket. They put it in a bucket. And then one guy says, let's drink it. And they did. That's innovative. Too often, I have people come to me with what they think is an innovative idea. Let's put this into perspective. In the United States, there's over 900,000 restaurants. Over 900,000 restaurants. That's a lot. For the most part, anything that you think is innovative isn't all that. But to be innovative, you're going to have to have the intestinal fortitude to drink the milk not milk the cow. Milk the cow is eh, a little scary. I might get my head kicked off. Drink the milk? How do I know that's not going to kill me? Make my face turn blue. Lose my manhood. How do I know? You don't. You don't. But yet now today, we don't even think about it. We drink milk, we don't even think about it. Okay, think about that again from the restaurant business. I guarantee you that somebody had to say to certain people in this world, there is no way somebody's going to pay $3 for a cup of coffee. No way. There is no way somebody's going to pay a dollar and a half, two dollars for a bottle of water. I can get it out of the tap for free. No way that's going to happen. No way. Somebody's going to go to a high-end restaurant and drop $150, $200 a plate. No way. No way you can make money on a 59-cent taco. No way. Way. Those are innovative. If you're going to innovate, have the guts to innovate. You cannot be everything to everybody. You have to be something to somebody. You have to commit to what the innovation is. You have to be willing to test and test and test. Then when it comes time to roll it out, you do it with intensity. You stay focused on it.